being here on Lee Chess and Twitch. I'm International Master William Pascal, aka Sledgy, here on Twitch. I'm trying to stream educational chess for everybody, for everyone, pandas and people alike. So, tonight is the Panda Blitz tournament. We host the tournament every Tuesday night when available. Last week was Rapid. We tried to alternate between Blitz and Rapid here. So we've got a Blitz tournament 5 plus 3 coming up in about 15 minutes. I did post the link. We're going to post it again. doesn't want to work. There it is. Leeches Swiss Blitz tournament. What is up, everybody? Asturbate, first one in the chat. Good to see you. All right, Lee Chess, let's go to that link, actually. Let's go to the tournament. Let's see what we've got. Ponda and Horses Club. Ponda Blitz Swiss 29. Sparkle Horse, Druiv Goal, El Shakmat, The Chess Falcon 1, Knock Reba, and Astrobate. Last week, I was not, actually, two weeks. No wonder my tournament has fallen off a little bit. I guess we were we were playing, yeah, Tuesdays, two weeks I didn't attend our tournament, so people forget. You played a 27 move game at 99 accuracy. <laughs> the so-called 99 accuracy, whatever that means. On the forbidden site. Yeah, I don't know what those percentages mean, really. Um, but it sounds like a good game. Congratulations to Sean Pinto. Sounds good. All right, we've got six players thus far. It's supposed to be a nine round blitz tournament. We will need at least 10 players to play a nine round tournament, probably more than that. Usually I would get 20 to 30 players. Hopefully more will show up. But again, I was playing over the board the last two weeks and people expect me to play. And the last two weeks I wasn't in the tournament. So I think our attendance might have fallen off a little bit. We got to build it back up. Unfortunately, a little heads up. Next week I have to go on a visit to Romania. And I'm not going to be um, streaming regularly. Next Tuesday, probably won't be, won't be here for this event. Even if I'm not in, I do host the tournament. But I think next week we're going to be going to a little nine-day hiatus again. What's up, Be Afraid? But our final vacation of the summer. My final week off the summer coming up next week. And then back to business. It's going to be all, all fall. You can count on me to be here when you want to watch some chess or play some chess. But this week we're good. Tomorrow morning we're going to be streaming Blitz. Friday morning, Blitz. Sunday, Simul. We had a good Simul on Sunday. Here's the link, peoples. Please join our stream. Where's Snuggles the Snail? Don't see Snuggles the Snail. Chess is the art which expresses the science of logic. Could you could you say the same thing like chess is the science which expresses the art of logic? Or chess is the chess is the logic which expresses the science of art. Or chess Chess is the chess is the science which expresses the art of logic. Cooking Rooks, I spoke to him. I spoke to him yesterday. Yeah, missing him here on the stream. I know it's hard for him to get here for the earlier streams. Maybe I'll stop by. I guess he's got work, working too hard. Yeah, you can just. Sub substitute those three chess art and science whichever way you like chess is the logic 
So, I see a lot of people lurking that aren't in the tournament. Uber Driver, S. Merchea, Lascar01, Brony, Stapfargan, Goblin Pawn Shop, Etez. Etez is always lurking. He must, like, always be logged on the Lee Chess. Mr. Coffee subscribing a tier 2. Oh, yeah, so the big news is that Be Afraid says Duda eliminated Magnus from the World Cup. Or Magnus eliminated Magnus. It depends on how you look at it. You know, blame blame yourself or blame blame Duda. So the final of the World Cup will be Duda versus Karyakin. Magnus is eliminated. Playing the white side of his disgusting Bishop E5 check Sicilian. Dude, but I mean he was just he was just like outplayed in the opening um, middle game and then went into a worse end game. It's not like he in my perspective it didn't look like he just lost the end game. He was worse the whole way. Like out of the opening, into the middle game, into the end game. Duda just outplayed him the entire game and then converted. It wasn't like he, he blundered in the end game. Hmm. Be afraid the end game was drawn, really. Are you serious? I thought he was like in big trouble all the way. Okay, I didn't analyze like closely with an engine my perspective that he was in big trouble. Maybe there was a draw at some point. I didn't watch it live. I just played over it at the conclusion of the game. <clears throat> All right, can we get a link please? But in any case, Magnus is gone. Poland versus Russia. Although it's interesting, Karyakin is actually originally Ukraine. He was actually, he is now representing Russia. <clears throat> the Olympiad is also starting, what? I didn't even know there was an Olympiad. You mean like Olympiad, like chess Olympiad? Really? That's the first I've heard about the Olympiad. Wow, where is it? Is that in Russia too? Surprise. Let me guess, it's in Russia. Like every other chess event. No. Online? Oh my god, that doesn't count. No, not interested. The online chess Olympiad? Are you kidding me? All right, I mean, I guess they can play with arbiters 2024 is in Hungary the chess Olympics in Budapest I should say um, maybe the next the next real chess Olympics it's not right it's not right to have an online tournament um, the world senior was cancelled this year I couldn't have played anyway. I'm not old enough. But I know like FIDE was canceling a lot of events. Snuggles is here. Snuggles the Snail with the frog emotes. So we got some players now. Play like Kasparov, Stop Vargan, Druvkol, El Shakma, Chess Falcon, Ocean 25, Not Kriba, and Astrobate brings us up to nine players. Now we have ten, and then there were ten. With Mule Skinner, 10 players means that we can have at least 9 rounds. This is now, now we're talking. Although we need some higher rated players. Our, our top 2200 plus group. I haven't seen Yevgeny. Aldisto hasn't been on in a long time. It's the summer. I realize a lot of people are out for the summer. Thanks Snuggles the Snail for being a subscriber and for joining us here. You're one of our leading watchers. Um, it was a long day for me. I feel kind of foggy headed. I haven't played, just teaching. I agree with Brony, like the chess Olympiad won't be the same if it's not live. And, and, and I'm sorry, but over the board chess, it feels different than, than over the board. I play better with real pieces. I don't see the board as well. 
on the screen. But I guess the Olympiad will be held so the players sit at real boards and, and they, they have like a sort of virtual tournament. Hybrid, right? But that means like the games aren't officially rated. They'll be they'll be like hybrid rated or something. Hybrid tournaments. The future of chess. You didn't play a proper board game in over two years. Feels bad. I just played my first tournament in seven months. Fortunately, I had a good result. Not expecting a good result without sitting at a real chess board since October of 2020. But I managed to lose my first round game and then come back and finish second place. All right, guys, three minutes and 45 seconds. Um, I was a point short of the IM norm. Fortunately, I don't need one. But I'm at the stage now where I'm playing like a strong FM. If I get any better, I'm going to be back to IM strength. I really play like a strong FM. My first strong FM result in a few years. Since like 2017. Mr. Coffee is here. Get in the tournament. <clears throat> Get in the tournament, Coffee. No. Mr. Coffee. We just had a follower. Ayush, our first follower. Mr. Coffee resubscribed here too. Um, we have Lee Chess in the title. We do. Hey guys, Prem. Brony joined at 2354. Love that, Brony. He's a brony. Um, Mr. Coffee's working. At least something's working around here. Abba Fazel, can anyone explain what is the Swiss format? Swiss is a traditional, is the most traditional chess format. But if you've never played over the board chess, it's the standard tournament format for over the board tournaments. Hardik says, please let me in group. Okay, I don't get messages properly. I don't understand what it is. Why don't I get, why don't I get requests? Where is my Mr. Coffee? Please, you have to request to be in the group, Hardik. Miss. I can't put you in the group. You have to send a request. Now it popped up. That's weird. Check it out. If you go there, it comes back. Where's... What? Only on certain screens. I don't know if that's Hardik, though. This is Lena. You have to request to be in the group. I can't just put you in. Um, Mr. Coffee, did you get any requests? It's really weird, like on one screen I can see the requests and another screen I can't. What What is going on with that? Now it's back again? Like, there he is. Oh, no games. I normally won't accept anybody under 100 games. But he's got 39. <laughs> Alright, just don't be bad. Behave yourself. 10,000 games for Blishnag. These messages don't seem right. That was the guy I rejected. I would reject him, but I feel desperate. We haven't had any new members in a while. I normally re reject people under 100. You're doing the right thing. Mr. Coffee rejected you because my normal rule is 100 games. Now there's this join request right there. I already accepted it. Page not found. Snap. All right, tournament is starting. I accepted someone with 39 games. They better behave themselves. Don't be a troll or a, or a cheater. Princess Chess 64 is here. Welcome. All right. You haven't been overruled. I made an exception. Trusting my instinct. Man, I don't know. I, I feel foggy headed. I need more, more rest. I had a good night's sleep last night too. 
It's not that hot. I had a good night's sleep last night. There's no excuse to not feel good. This exchange, why? Why do they do that? Because they can. A lot of bad jokes begin that way. It's like knight takes c6 in the Sicilian. Astrobit used to play this. E takes D. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> We've played this before. Please add me in Another guy asked me, please add me in team. I can't add people in the team. You have to request it. And I have weird message problems. Message problems. Sometimes those those messages are not coming through. Let me see. Um, let's see. Profile. Open a new tab. No. Profile. Open a new window. So if I go to the team page, yeah, then all of a sudden the messages show up. That is not right. All of a sudden the messages show up. All these guys want to join. We Chess, you need to get this fixed. That player, uh, I'm, I'm making exceptions, accepting these. Why do you people have no games? Like, seriously, why does everyone have no games? Those guys have games. Why are there so many people with no games? All right, we've been here before done this. No more messages. So it's so weird that the message, the, the join requests don't show up on this page, but they show up on my profile page at the top of the screen. That's just bad, bad coding. And they can't blame it on Firefox. That was, that was always the Balt's big excuse. Use a modern browser. Now I use Google Chrome, it's still, there's all kinds of bugs. No matter what I do, there's bugs. Knight G5. <clears throat> I don't want to trade pieces. Knight G5 is psycho. Imagine just like playing Knight G4 in the Queen's Gavin Exchange variation without any real provocation. Provocation. Would it be better to play knight? The other knight move? My other brother? Daryl? Check. This is a, a true blitz game. Good knight, bad knight. Good bishop, bad bishop. The stone wall. It's a good stone wall. I got rid of my bad bishop. Any stone wall where you get rid of your bad bishop is a good stone wall. Pillsbury attack. Do I just like miss winning a piece? No. Yes. I could have won a piece. It would be good to calculate a little, a little more. F4 wins a piece. Might encompass, encompass? It might, uh, it might be a little risky. F4, knight e4, pawn e4, queen e4, pawn e3, queen e6 check, but I do win a piece in that line. Peace out. <clears throat> right. Deposit night here. I don't know if this is good. 
Guys, please subscribe and support the stream. Support the stream and support the stream. Don't like that move. You're you're a bad person for attacking my center. <clears throat> power power move. C4. So I have two options. Defend the pawn or or defend the pawn. Queen b3 is interesting. I'd rather queen b6. Queen b6 in endgame or queen f7. Queen f7. Quite an interesting try. This guy is getting better and better. I'm gonna bail. I didn't like queen f7 where white plays f3. Probably there's something there for me, but I didn't like cd, ed, f3 cracking my center and the stupid diagonal causing all kinds of technical problems for, for me. Probably something would have been all right there. But I decided to play it safe with queen b6. Basically forcing a trade of queens to a maybe slightly better ending. The only other way of defending d5 was to eliminate his queen from the board. Princess Chess 64 is getting five tier one subs. That is awesome. Princess rocks. Yono Matika Zen Chess. Man, we haven't seen Zen in ages. Brony Cloud Whales, nice name. Cloudy Whales. And Leo Kale. Alright, Endgame Land. Welcome to Endgame Land. This is an Endgame. This is the seventh rank. That is a problem. Damn, that is a bad bishop. That was the whole idea, bad bishop. That's serious bishop problem. <laughs> Prison bishop. It's imprisoned. Dude, that's that's a, that's really original. You can't get a worse bishop than that. Destructive. Thank you so much, Princess Chess. Huge supporter of the stream. She's given a lot of donations to the Simuls on Sundays. Thank you so much. Let's just recapture here. Um, I can penetrate to the seventh, but I want to be on the safe side, and there's no real nothing to worry about. This bishop has no squares. No way, Jose. It's instructive, but we were playing against that bad bishop from the beginning. Good bishop, bad bishop. Good knight, bad bishop. Seventh rank. Good knight, bad bishop. Princess Chess embodies awesomeness with five gift subs. Okay, back to tournament. Princess Chess is probably working. So can't play. We've got 10 players, 17 players. Drew Goldbrony, play like Sparrow, Dinekis is here, Mule Skinner, Chess Falcon, Acerbate. Who else? Stop Vargan, Conte di Luna, Hardik, Hardik RD1. No, that was a buy. All right. El Shockma, let's check out him. I like to take a look at some other games. Play like Sparrow El Shockma. Oof, White is down a piece. King's Indian. This doesn't look good. 
back to tournament. Abel Fazel against Brony. Tough pairing. Oof, Brony is. <clears throat> Can you guess the opening? I don't know what this was. Brony is crushing. He's got the center. Nice control of the center. Except for d5. H file and center. And white is up a pawn. But that's the centerpiece of the center, the d4. Working hard or hardly working? That's a classic dad joke. One of my favorite dad, one of my dad's favorite jokes, of course. The classic American dad joke. That popped in my head the other day. Very common. All right. Brony is going to win it, guys. First round, kind of. Well, you know, black's hanging on here. Actually, white doesn't have a pass pawn. We shouldn't count Abel Fazel out. Without a pass pawn, white can't win this game. You know, that doubled pawn doesn't make it easy for white to really win this. We can't call this a winning position. Brony is a bullet expert. 2260 and bullet. That's impressive to me. But this, this Abba Fazl we've seen before. 4 0. Oh. Tough player, though. <clears throat> Pearls of Wisdom Daily. How can you guess an opening after 25 moves? It's fun. I thought it might be a French. Um, I would guess French. It was a French Rubenstein. I was gonna guess burn variation based on the structure. Man, it looks like Abel Fuzzle's hanging on. White fails to win this without a pass pawn. Black, ironically, has a pass pawn now. Pass pawns are good. What happened is like connection dropped out. I don't see how White's winning this position. He's just gonna lose on time. White cannot win without a passer. He's gonna just flag. White's up a pawn, but effectively not really. It should be a draw based on position. Oh, brother. That just happened. Whew. It looks like after F5, I mean, objectively, the game is a draw. <laughs> you got mated. No, it's definitely drawish. I mean, F5, I don't think White can win this against optimal play. It looks like it should be a draw. But apparently f5 is bad. Wow, white has rook g5. And then he can play like g4. That's interesting. So f5 is a blunder. He did have king king c6. But that apparently loses to rook g5 as well. So it wasn't so easy. White played 17 CPL with 5 inaccuracies. Yeah, f5 is not, not good enough. Black has to find some kind of perfect moves, like a computer. I don't know. How does Rook 5 hold, actually? I mean, how does Black hold on after that? I don't understand. You don't. Yeah, it's just awful. I He was okay until... Okay, b5 isn't necessary, but I understand why he played it. He should have played f5 directly. Allowing that check gave him rook g5. Now it's a draw. It was just kind of a weird situation. The rook g5. Random chess moves. 82 games. He's got enough games.
Yeah, it was a draw. Objectively. Oh no, Dr. Trip Chance. Conte di Luna is also 2200. Why do I feel like I have... I slept well last night and I still feel like I have sleep deprivation. Food coma. I ate my dinner about 45 minutes ago. Damn it. Brony, Dr. Trip Chance, all these. Hey, it's Miros in the house. Mule Skinner. No matter how much sleep I get, I still feel sleep deprived. It's ridiculous. Oh no. The only opening that works against Mule Skinner used to be the it used to be the, the Scandinavian. But now he he's not not able to play the the Grand Prix attack. So we should be alright. You played knight f6? No Grand Prix attack. What are you gonna do? An alternate closed Sicilian. The reverse Bodler. The dreaded reverse Bodler. Korchnoi. Playing one of the most brilliant games ever I loved with white here. In a famous game from Bucharest, 1953, <clears throat> Korchnoi versus Stefan Sabo, not the Sabo, Laszlo Sabo, but another Sabo, it was a very strong tournament in, in Bucharest in 53. Korchnoi won a beautiful English um, with this structure, this exact position, using his pawns to push the black pieces back. It's a classic. Korshnoi is big on, well, was big on pawns. Excellent understanding of pawn play. Sleep is good for your health. Wonder if H3 is, is too early. I was actually facing the, the so-called Bodler attack, like yesterday, and um, I was talking about the fact that I don't really like this symmetrical French structure that arises if you play d4. It looks like Mule Skinner has adopted some kind of new opening system, but this is this is similar to to Korchnoi versus Sabo Stefan. We could even get to basically the same position, but now now he's giving up his center. That's something that the Korshnoi's opponent didn't do. The Smith Mora is what? Don't say that on my stream. I won't stand for that. It's not as bad as the London, but but we don't. Bishop F five isn't strange. That's very typical here. For the Bodler. I disagree. It's hard to argue with you don't want to argue with, with Coach Ah. It's it's not what's that what's that expression? You argue with them, they take you down to their level or whatever. It's not fun to argue with Coach Ah. But in my experience. But I I, I actually disagree. The, the Bishop F five is pretty common here. I don't like this whole opening, but but nevertheless, <clears throat> the 
Why would Mill Skinner switch from playing the Grand Prix attack to the Bodler? That's like going from from third grade to first grade. You've been called back two years. He's he was more advanced to the Grand Prix attack. He's been recalled. Karpov liked these bishop c5 positions. What? Which Karpov was that? Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, Karpov always played the, the bishop b4 lines. Look at the world championship with Kasparov, all their games. I've got to disagree with everything Coach Ah says, and then he takes it personally. It's possible that Karpov played played Bishop C five somewhere, but I don't know, man. That's not something I recollect. It was always kind of a disrespected variation. Maybe your friend Larry Christensen liked it. He's not my friend. Knight c6. Bishop c5, d6. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I only like follow like mostly Karpov's World Championship games. More famous games. It's possible he played some setup with with Bishop C five at some point, but mostly it's been kind of like considered to be sort of sec second rate. This looks good. We've got the monster, the Loch Ness monster. Nessie of the long diagonal. This is a nice pawn on e3. I mean, which bishop is worse? The e3 pawn or that decoration on b6? It looks like a Christmas tree, Christmas tree decoration. It's like sort of hanging off the tree. <laughs> B6. Um, yeah, I thought you'd see it your way. Not surprised by that move. This looks kind of artificial. Artificial intelligence. You know, something about Queen A4, I, I really don't don't like. But Botvinnik would deal with this. <clears throat> this was a bad bad decision by me. I'm a freaking idiot. God, he's like a genius. Except he's not. He finds a way out of this. No, you missed you missed Queen C eight. Queen C eight holds on for the momentary 
for the momentary moment. I played like an idiot. I mean, to give him to play queen a4, oof, that was bad. That was a bad idea. Momentary lapse of judgment. Putting my queen out there, giving him blockading chances. That doesn't feel right. I don't like that. Brony Hayes Miro. Let's check out Hayes Miro's game. Dinekis Stapfargen. Where's all the titled players today? No Schieber Spieler, no Alms. Even Mr. Slohan's not here. Where's all of our regulars? Missing a lot of regulars. Hey, it's Miro in time pressure? Wow. That's something you don't see a lot. He's usually quick. Okay, I, I maybe only played Stat Bargain once. I was lucky I, I played a good game. I think I needed another coffee tonight. <clears throat> what is happening here? White, white is hanging on. Is what's happening. The dude... Wait, is like a clam that's latched on to its prey. The hull of the ship, he just won't let go. Clam, clam style. Uh oh, maybe not the most accurate. Now, if there were no a pawn on the board, I guess you'd have good chances here to make a fortress. What? What? He didn't take the exchange. White's too freaked out. I mean, black's too freaked out by the time. He didn't take the rook on a1. I admit it wasn't the easiest conversion. But he's totally too much on the clock here. I can't believe it. He didn't take the exchange on A1. Stop Vargan. Must not play a lot of increment. He must be a, a non-increment guy. Because that was that was a bad decision. Based on on I guess practical, you know, I wanna flag him sort of thought. But you gotta put best move first rather than clock. I just made a giant hero, hero. Oh man. My family went out and ate gyros without me today. Don't. Don't bring it up. All I got was a piece of baklava. My family went to Disney World and all I got was a stupid t shirt. Well, I'm not really having time to analyze games, be afraid. I'm, I'm kind of like... Oof. Stop Vargan. Underestimated. He underestimated the danger. But Hayes Miro has played well against me, um, time-wise as well. He manages his clock well. He maybe pays attention to my advice. Whoa, so much for that theory. Now all of a sudden things have changed a little bit. The complexion of this game has changed somewhat. Queen e8, a strange decision. Now we like pray that we're not lost. The knight on c6 is hanging. Oh, he dropped his knight. <laughs> if you drop the knight, man, if he takes the knight, he loses. It's a poison knight. So, poison knight to rook takes h7. I think this game, was, this is a good result. 
Both you guys didn't deserve to win. Brony with a perfect score. Mr. Kasparov with a perfect score. Now those guys have draws. There's a bunch of players with one and a half. Why do I feel so sleepy? <sighs> they need to put more ca caffeine in my coffee. I'm gonna have to start like eating two hours before my streams. This is what Walter, Walter Brown always said. He was like, never ever eat before you play in a tournament. He was right. But I guess you don't really feel that until you're like 40. When I was young, I didn't. it didn't matter. Now I just feel like, I ate at five, 5.30. I ate at 5.45. It's like 6. It's 7.15 now. I mean, that was an hour and 15 minutes ago. That should be enough time that I have food coma. And it's not that hot. No excuses. I guess I need two hours between eating and playing chess. Brony, don't make me play Brony. You can never predict the pairings in this system. You are still young. Does anybody watch Ted? I don't even know what that is. Walter had the shakes. It's not like he had Parkinson's, man. He was drinking like 10 cups of coffee every day. I mean, that's like when, you, when you're like overdosing on caffeine 24-7. The guy must have drunk, drunk like 10 cups of coffee. Seriously. It's funny, I just had this variation yesterday, or before yesterday, and I almost never played this position. Nobody plays bishop e3. This I don't even know now. What the heck is that move? I don't even know what bishop e5 is. You gotta play a move I've never seen before? The heck is that? This is just really bizarre. Arsenal fan's brother. So I had a simul game with Arsenal fan. No, Blitz was it? I didn't see Walter Brown though since like early 2000s. He died, what, like three years ago? Maybe he developed some some shakiness that was more than a caffeine addiction, but the one, the one I knew, he was like, he was constantly drinking coffee. He was the U.S. champion, man. I mean, like, he held the he held the record for the most U.S. chess championships. Maybe he held the record the most times you you win, winning the U.S. chess championship. It's a pretty pretty famous player. That's like not easy to do. Brony just like goes with the flow.
Does this even make sense? Yeah, it probably does. Hmm. That's the point now. We can develop the rest of our pieces. I don't know who Brony is. Brony is like this mystery account. But you're spelling it wrong, okay? You're thinking of someone else. People don't even know who Walter Brown is. Are you serious? B R W N E. You want to read his book, No Stress Chess. Dude, that's crazy that that's the name of his book. He was like one of the most stressed people I ever met, dude. I, 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 I never felt... There are two people that I played that made me like nervous. Really, really nervous. Like physically was him and, and Lambert Ole. The Ole just freaked me out, but Walter was like bouncing. He had so much nervous energy at the board. It's absurd that he would call his book No Stress Chess. Are you kidding me? I didn't know about that. I'm out of the loop. Serious caffeine addiction. My original plan was to take Brony. I don't know what to do. Brony's scary. I should have played E5 there. I guess subjectively. Wait, what? Please don't make predictions. This game will be a draw. Blinky and Clyde. No relations pack, man. Where's Inky? Yeah, somehow we got on the subject of Walter Brown. The most like nervous player I ever played. It was impossible to concentrate playing against him. He was like shaking the table. Almost. I played him like three times. Two long games and blitz tournament once. I had one of my longest games in all, all my all my history. It was like 112 moves. I lost against him once. That was a nightmare. 112 moves of that vibrating and being tortured. <sighs> A 
Black's better. Thermostat? Is that the word you're looking for? <laughs> you mean thermos. The word you're looking for is thermos. I've never seen anyone spill their thermostat. Right. Damn, that's a strong move. The old... Whoa. What just happened? Bra. Brawny. <clears throat> no F force is good F force. That's an interesting move. Is my bishop trapped? Pretty much. Wow. So he finds a way out of this? Interesting. Is it possible to beat this guy? I'm starting to have doubts. He has another secret move. Weird. He finds every possible move using no time. <sighs> Even like pre moving them. Look at that, like, come on. Who sees that in advance? He 
He found rook c4 using no time. As if that's a normal thing to do. There's no way to beat this guy. I don't think he'll lose a single game in this tournament. I don't think you can beat him. He's like pre preceiving seeing moves that are impossible for me. Pre pre seeing. I mean, whatever, dude. I mean, like, look, look at this move, rook c4 here. Who plays that move you, using no time on the clock? That's not normal. It's like the only legal move. <laughs> What's he supposed to do? I can't believe this holds on. It's just ridiculous. God. It's the only legal move that doesn't lose. And white saves the game. He was 100% lost. <sighs> no, he has to find a move. There's no other move. It's crazy how, how he escapes here. I had rook d8. I didn't think it mattered. I have to play rook d8. And I saw king here. Then I have f4 check. Oh my god. This I did not see though. Wow. Damn. That's a beautiful variation. It was a good battle, but I chickened out. I was winning, but time started to run away. And I don't think I was winning at the end. After rook c4. Almost perfect game. Yeah, right. Blinky and Clyde. Original characters. I mostly know, you know, known entities. I don't have a lot of stories about, like, original characters that no one really knows about. <clears throat> All right. My time, I'm slow, you know? He's fast, I'm slow. If it gets down to 20 seconds against eight, and I'm better by only a slight advantage, what am I gonna do? I thought he could take on a four at the end. So Vargan got two and a half. Hey, it's Miro, two and a half. Shockman is still playing. Draw. I declare a draw. One of my friends was talking about how he met Bobby Fischer in the 80s, in the late 80s. And Fisher had like never used a computer, apparently, because this guy had to like teach Bobby Fisher how to use a mouse. It was like a late 80s mouse that was like a corded mouse, and Fisher thought you could like point it at the computer in the air and like... He didn't understand how a mouse worked. He was trying to figure out how to use like chess base in 1988. That was the most interesting story I've heard in a while. Teaching Bobby Fischer how to use a mouse. All right, back to the tournament. He thought it was like a TV remote control. Speaking of players who slip through our hands, I just can't really find my energy tonight. No, no, no. In the 80s in, in, in LA. 
1988, California. Fisher was in California. This, no, I mean, by the time Fisher knew how to use a computer in the 90s. No, I don't think those are real, Neil Skinner. That's a, that's that's not true. Nigel is just looking for attention as usual. Someone else I met recently tried to believe that, but I think it's all fake. The games were totally. I mean, anybody could tell it was a computer playing, honestly. All right. The dude played every move that was like engine. The short was clearly just fooled by a guy using a computer. But he has a big ego and likes to be in the spotlight, so. Right, as if Bobby Fischer wastes his time with Nigel. <laughs> if he was gonna like play one player online, would it be Nigel Short? I don't think so. But in Nigel's in Nigel's world, it would be. Welcome to Nigel's world. I mean, he's a great player. I never faced this this chat as Schmidt Benoni. Um, what to do actually I frankly don't have a good system against the Schmidt Benoni if I'm being perfectly honest I can't remember the last time I even faced it it's so unpopular No, interestingly, there was a game in my tournament last week where it was reverse Schmid Benoni. This exact line. You had a pleasant interaction. You sent him a couple magazines he was looking for. And he sent you an autographed book. Very interesting. I remember there was some Karpov Korchnoi game similar to this. Not exactly the same, but close. I'm actually working on Karpov Korchnoi World Championship, but I can't remember where the Schmidt Benonian was played. There is bishop h6, bishop h2. Fisher was like massively paranoid, so I don't think he was gonna like reveal his identity ever. If he played chess online, 
he's not going to go around like trolling people like, haha, I'm Bobby Fischer. He valued his privacy. <clears throat> this looks like we're really. really strong here. I'm not sure it's enough actually. This might be a mistake. We go for it with g5. That's a lot of space. And I feel like I'm coming up short here, <laughs> literally. What a joke that is. There is no way to break through here. Coming up short, get it? best jokes so how do I break through pieces are just at a dead end standstill. This is unbelievable. The guy has four minutes? Oh my god. What? He's freeing his, his guy. Freeing the pieces. Bishop f8. Freeing up g7 for the pieces. It's a perverse concept. to do f4 f5 would be nice if you could get it but man that takes forever and he can play knight g7 too You gotta be crazy to play like this with black. But it's pretty good for blitz chess, I guess. He has defenses to everything. Not necessarily everything.
No, 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 no. Yo! No, 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 no. Yeah, Duda wins against Carlson in their match. Guy's getting more and more impressive. You've got to admit. But there's nothing more disgusting than the Magnus' Bishop B5 check. I'm glad to see him lose with that. And it's so predictable. Like, get original with that. Why not play the London system? Lombardi moved to California later? I didn't know that. Whoa. Rook B3. So I'm just lost? Just like that? Damn, that's pretty disheartening. This player is uh, interesting. 2100. Not really a 2100. A little too strong for this rating, I would say. I think he's a bit, a bit too strong for twenty one hundred. Um. Yeah, that was uh, quite a game by Black. Two blunders, 131 cent upon loss for white. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not in good shape. Very tired tonight. Apparently I was winning, but I got carried away. Wow. Queen H6, didn't even conceive of this idea. Queen H6 with the idea of G6. Not enough energy. I went astray. Learn from your mistakes. That went, went south quickly. I thought I was doing great. It seems ridiculous. How can he get his freaking... Yeah, F4 is the blunder. But I have to be very careful here. Like rook, maybe rook a3, rook f3 or something. I don't know, I just don't have the energy tonight. It looks like Stap Vargan is going to win the tournament. Or Brony.
We still have one, one ongoing game. We have very high sin upon loss. Thanks everybody for playing. Thanks to Princess Chess for donating five gift subs. Please support the stream if you can in some way. Didn't lose because of an engine. Are you sure? Could have been a weak one. Some of the engines specialize in, in hundreds and upon loss. I was checking, I think it's getting hot here again. We had good weather for like 24 hours. I mean, that was weird. I, I don't really face this anymore. Nobody plays the Schmidt Benoni. And I'm not really in practice there. Not a popular opening for black. So I overextended myself. You can only support the stream by pro trolling. You've done a good job of trolling. You're an excellent troll. You have a high troll rating. I want to lose some games and get some easier pairings. It says it's 74. It feels like it's like 90 degrees in my office. If I don't have a fever or something. I could get COVID. I guess I gotta turn the fan up higher. It was on low, but oh, uh, we lost my. Where's my board? What? What happened? Oh, there it is. No, I mean I'm talking Fahrenheit, but it it's supposed to be cool, but it feels pretty hot in here. How do you overextend yourself? I was only plus ten because of a specific mate, right? With queen h6 and g6. I was already overextended. Essentially. We gotta get out, get away from that. That same variation over and over again here. But he only used like a minute for the whole game. And I used all my time. I just played a game the other day with white in this line. You were so excited to play and you got a buy. I played E5. <clears throat> hey, it's Nero, this is more popular, but I don't know if I like it that much for white. I'm not supposed to play CD. Oh, no. Why did I play that move? Because I saw someone else play it in my tournament, I guess. Laziness. Better to play d5 directly. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like 75. It's usually like 95, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And tonight it's actually not that hot and I still feel horrible. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I saw this exact position the other day. I feel like bishop takes c6. Lazy man variation for black. So if I take on c3 as bishop a3, I guess it's enough for a draw. Where's move 11? He's responsible for making me play this. 
he had a game like this with with black move 11 you played some weird move like queen d7 here talking to him he's not even on the stream like he's just out there in TV land What do we do? Queen d7? Seriously? I remember the computer suggesting something else. I thought... <sighs> I wonder if c5 is even a move. Queen d7 is passive. But this is not a great line. This is maybe good enough for a draw. This is not better than, than what I'm playing. I mean, it's, this sucks. It's like lifeless. Yeah, f6 is played, but in some positions. No F6 here, he might have E6. Otherwise, it would probably be alright. It's interesting though, it's, it's it's feasible. He might you might be able to play F6. It's a question of E6. Then maybe Queen D6. Black's alright. Maybe E6 isn't that great after all. This is the actual position. My queen is badly placed here. Yes, it's also possible to play something like that. Peter didn't suggest e6, if not mistaken. You you know this exact position. This was like move 11's game, something like this. I can't remember if he played rook b8. But I assume. And I feel like I saw another game recently where this happened. Or maybe I just went over another another game but but Miro's really done his homework I don't know, my phone says it's 75 degrees Fahrenheit, but my office feels like 90. Ain't no way, it's it says 81 on my phone actually. The other weather. That's a big difference between 81 and 75. There ain't no way it's 75. It's hot in here. Okay, 8 p.m. 74, yeah right, no. I'm like suffocating. Okay, this is exactly like Move Eleven's game. He was playing an FM, a training game. They have basically the same exact game. Move Eleven eventually got the advantage with Black. He's one of our viewers and subscribers. 
and a founder. Something like very similar to this happened. I don't know if this is good or not. Probably a mistake. I think I should have played rook b5. It's not too late though. The best black can get is equal. The best a man can get, Gillette. So I was thinking of going for the C pawn. Looks like queen a5, he's holding here. Queen a5, queen b7. Is black better here? Dude, don't, don't go out on a limb as they say in English. <laughs> Prem 666 thinks it's equal. You're taking a huge risk with that assessment. Really ought to be less, less committal, man. This could be risky for me. Hmm. Whoa. Now what's happening? Yeah, but I mean, I'm just lucky. I had nothing, I, whatever. Was that the last game? We should play a4, queen a5, and, and there's no way I'm better. This is a draw. Played a good game. I earned a draw with black, but got a win instead. Remind me not to play the Russ Limo this way. Okay, so queen a5 is the engine's favorite move there. Oh, that's after. So c5, yeah, that's weird. I looked at that. It just looks like it should be a3. Queen e7 is second best move. So could you actually play f6? e6. And I thought this, but it looks like maybe a4 is a problem. Yeah, this is a problem. I don't like the look of this. Yeah, it's no good. 12 cent upon loss. I'm a computer. It's a hopeless line for black, though, with like zero winning chances, objectively. 
Hopeless variation. One ongoing game. Mule Skinner. Brony. Oh no. It's a Rooken game. Thanks, Miro. Good game. Yeah, but you should draw easily there. And you didn't even play it perfectly, and you should still draw. What is happening? Mule Skinner is white. It's a Grand Prix attack? No. Mule Skinner played against the French. Yeah. He plays the Tarash against his own defense. Oh, Abel Faz is playing the, the Rubenstein with this crazy move, Knight C6. That's his other game, too. That's weird. Weird variation. Mate. Playing for mate. Perpetual. It's mate. No, not king e7. King f7. Now it looks like black has rook g8, right? And I don't know how you win. How does white win after rook g8? <laughs> I don't have a clue. Um, king f7, though, was, was over. All right, guys. I don't know. I was, I was, I was broken. Too tired tonight. I tried. You have rook a7 to pick up the rook? Oh, that's right. So that is a win. Nice job. So Mule Skinner is in second place now. Staff Vargan lost to you know who. The only player who's faster than him. The unbeatable. I'd like to see Dr. Chipchance play Brony, but the doctors doctors not in the house. Alright. <sighs> Trying to wake up. Goo is here. How's Astrobate doing? You gotta win! Astrobate beat Nakriba. Four more rounds to go. Man, I don't know if I can survive. Basically, I work nonstop. It's been a tough day. Excuses. It was a main in three? Really? Oh, so it's like rook a8 check, rook b7 check, and rook a8 mate. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, because your pawn is there. Oh, I'll not play like Kasparov. Please don't do this to me. He let me transpose to the Pirates again. I changed my move order. And you played C5. So this is actually some kind of weird, like, I don't know what to call this actually. Well, I guess it's still a Pirates technically. So I don't have to play knight c3 and transpose to a Sicilian, I can play c3. And it is what it is. Whatever that is. Yeah, I don't like the look of, of e5. That doesn't look right. Where's Coach Ah? Reminds me of this Gladura game I saw. 
do I really want to play d5? Hmm. Maybe you want to take here. Play a boring game. Let's be boring. My knight on e2 sucks. So maybe g4 is not that stupid. I mean, to reposition my knight, which is bad on e2. Thanks guys for joining me. Sorry, I'm a little tired tonight. I don't know what's up. I don't have my usual energy. So you go there anyway. <clears throat> I wonder about C4. But I guess I should play a4, given the current environment, maybe not. No, but I mean, really, his queenside pawn is a little loose. Reminds me of the classical, or rather, Fianchetto Dragon. I had some games of black where bad things happened to me on the A file. That was a definite mistake. I'm hallucinating I could play rook a7, that would be a funny move. Very serious blunder. That was a serious blunder. Perfect game by your opponent. Dude, what's up with my knight on e2? It's really a sick piece. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the unbelievable c4. Because I want to get my knight to c3. He's not letting me. So black just dropped in exchange with a very strange rookie eight, forgetting that was unprotected. But it's still hard to get through.
Maybe I should play f4. But I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe not today. Maybe another day. Yeah, that's crazy. F5 is crazy. I don't mind if, um, even I had to sacrifice this rook. That's too much. It's late for a play like Kasparov. I'm complaining I'm tired, but a lot of you guys in India, Southeast Asia, it's like 11 o'clock, midnight where you are. They're at a distinct disadvantage in that respect. Okay, let's go. Let's go for King H2. 11.50 in India, and I'm complaining I'm tired, you know. I mean, there's a lot of people that are in different time zones that have much more reason to be tired than me. Okay. Rook on the 7th. And we're attacking him. Rook G1, Knight H5. Okay, what does that do? Nothing. Now I play rook g1. Yeah. It was bad, because before the stream I felt good, but in the first hour of the stream I just felt like I was going to fall asleep. I didn't eat much today until an hour, an hour before the stream or so. So there's no way to finish him off? Rook takes a7. Still no way to finish him off. There's a nice move, bishop takes c5 actually. Um. Queen e4, rook b7. And then bishop takes c5. Because bishop c5 right away, let's see. He has queen f4 check. That's a serious problem. Now there's a little threat. He must have seen that. Now there's a little threat for him. So 
So he's not going to save the game again in like that desperate time pressure. He does this to me every time. I have rook. I have a nasty move here. Rook a1, bishop f4 check, king g1. I noticed that a player like Sparrow seems to play really well when he's about on the verge of lost. He starts bearing down in tough positions. But this is asking a lot. Rook a7 is like a mating attack. Just resigned. Yeah, that was a weird blunder. Back to tournament. So Brony in first place, playing Mule Skinner. Black's bishop on h4. This smells like a draw. But Brony's, oh, Brony's actually dropping a pawn on h3. Wow. The winning chances for black. Go Mule Skinner. What was this, the Grand Prix attack? No, Mule Skinner is black. So it was a French. Brony played d4. Benko, Bianchetto. <coughs> now Black's, Black's bishops are stuck. It looks like objectively white, white should play like bishop e3 there. And ma no, he can't though, because this, this would actually freeze itself. But if he can freeze one of those bishops in the corner, yeah, I guess black's winning. So long as his bishop doesn't get trapped. Not an easy win though. Black has two connectors. I wonder if black should play e6 or not. It gives white a protected passer with d6. This looks hard to win. We should look at it from black's perspective. Pawn up. Definitely winning chances, two connectors. I can't decisively say if black's winning or not. Um, don't know. But it looks like good chances. Right? His pawns are going to be able to advance now. So it feels like excellent winning chances. Now I don't know. Hmm. Wrong color rook pawn draw. I said the guy's unbeatable. He's unbeatable. Ain't nobody in the tournament who beat him. That's right, test. It's a draw if I sack my bishop with a g5 pawn. I think that black was winning, though. Um, if you go back, 
a little ways before this exchange of pawns. Mule Skinner should not allow this exchange of pawns. So he has to play, let's see, g4 check here. We might still be winning with g4 check. g4 check. If king h4. Yeah. Even bishop e5 is winning. So this is the blunder. He has to play g4 check. So the same thing applies here. You can't play king h4 because of bishop f6. So he must play king g2. And then king f5. If d6, king d7, and the pawn just drops. So what are you going to do? You just wait. King h1. And then like bishop f6. And then you're going to push the pawn down to h3. I think black is winning. But, you know, it's not easy. John Mac TV, one year subscribing, 12 months. Tier 1, thank you for resubbing. Guys, please support the stream. Appreciate it. From John Mac TV. You can make a donation. I appreciate it. Goo, welcome. Thanks for playing. 15 seconds. Brony with 5 points. I have 4.5. Stap Vargan, Mule Skinner all at four and a half. Goo has three and a half. Goo is also undefeated. How did I know you were, you were gonna play me? <clears throat> Fellow Hungarian, copy my move. He's a copycat. I just had been in the mood to play G3 for some reason. I don't have to think about opening theory as much here, you know, and especially if I'm tired. I'm not going to go into e4, d4 type of stuff. It's it's possible King's Indian attack. Yeah, I, I don't know what else you would call this. It's like a symmetrical pierce, fianchetto pierce. Kind of like the other game I played, exact same position. So it's not a King's Indian attack. With, with d4. It's a fianchetto pierce. We have the exact same thing as my other game. Although now I can take on c5. Take check, knight c3, queen c5, bishop e3. I looked at this line. Where's coach A? Ah? wonder how coach A ah would like d take c, allowing the trade of queens into the ending. Slightly better for white. But I mean, Goo is a good tactician. I'm not sure about his in-game technique. But it looks like he's supposed to play Queen A5 check. Yeah. Check, Knight C3. I looked at this line last week or a couple weeks ago because I had this game against the kid in my over-the-board tournament, which I won. I was prepared to play this type of position. This is a weird recapture. Not what I expected. So black loses some control of the center by playing takes with the pawn. But still, I mean, it may be quite interesting. <clears throat> hem, hem. Alright, uh, that was not what I expected, and now we're on our own, in the twilight zone of the chess world. Bishop d2, not an exciting square to put one's bishop on, frankly. He's going to play rook d8 and be on my queen. So I'd like to play a place to put my queen. 
down the line here somewhere. Well, at least I have C1 if it comes to that. If this becomes an issue. But I don't think bishop d2 was the best move. I just didn't have time to really find it. Queen d8. Queen d is funny. Now I go here. Now you go back to a5. But I got a free move out of it. He didn't. No free move, but a free file. So this is a problem. We're pleasantly, like, slightly better here. Now you're talking about F4. Avalanche. The Colorado Avalanche. Wait is better. In Avalancheville. I guess he could castle. But then E5, 98, 95. Pretty sketchy. It doesn't look good. There's also a pawn sack with e6 at some point. There's also an 84. I mean, I'm probably like close to winning a pawn here. Pawn. Knight d5, e6. Oh, that wins material. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. I'm I'm not real sharp tonight. Starting to feel a little better. I haven't been drinking enough alcohol lately, and it's really starting to affect my health. Twenty five viewers. It's not good. Situation is is not healthy. Objectively, like after after bishop e3, he seriously could have gone back to a5, not traded queens. It's probably a better try. My bishop on e3 isn't that big a deal, and, and the position is playable. But having the open file, you know, is, is pretty big. The anti anti peers. So this is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. Black is not happy. Not good. Astrobeat versus Brony in the last round for the for the championship. But we are missing a lot of our regular players. The big guns like Schieber Spieler, Aldisto, Arms. Who else? Yeah, that's a good practical decision by Goo. I was going to suggest that he should sack Peace there. 
You know, objectively, that's probably your best move. Objectively, he's lost. <laughs> anyway, but... No, seriously. This is not a stupid move. It's a, it's a good idea. So let's try... Let's try a little materialism. For a change. Yeah, this is over. <clears throat> so he guarded F7. We are up a piece. Never castle unless you have to. You heard that here first. Sheltering the outside past pawns. Give me that. Took my shelter. <clears throat> the other rule is always trade pieces when you're up material. Don't forget. Yeah, I'm just going to go. The passer. He stopped the pawn. What a move. What a move. Now he has like annoying mating threats. Not even mating threats, but something. And rook g6. What a great move. I think I've seen enough. I've seen enough of that. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> no. All right. That was not the ending we were expecting. Stop bargaining against Mule Skinner. Mule Skinner having an I am norm here. An I am norm performance today. by the way no way what what do we do now what a position mule skinner saw this idea this kid is going to have another one of these games where he's got his rooks doubled on the 7th rank. He's got the mating threat on the back rank all the time. What a position. Threatening mate two different ways. But why does the scary pass pawns and the time? Skinner is like a two rooks on the 7th. Professional. Mm. 
Whoa. Major blunder by Stapfar again. He just hung a rook. Ooh, man. I can't watch anymore. Wait, threatening what? A draw? Now it's a, a draw by repetition. <laughs> there goes Mule Skinner's I am Norm. Wait, actually, missed like Rook check in or E7. Man, I wonder what was really going on there, if they played correctly. At this point. Wow, it's winning for black. I expected king g1, and I thought white had chances. Man, you'd think these pawns would be worth something. They're not worth much. So Black was winning. But time is money. <clears throat> Back to the tournament. Alright. Brony, clear first with six. I have five and a half. Stat bargain, five. Yule Skinner, five. Play like a Sparrow, four. Two more rounds to go. But nobody can beat Brony. The best thing I hope for is the best thing I hope for is like a tie for first. Somehow someone would hold Brony to a draw and I won my last two games. I would still lose on tie breaks. Maybe not. Depends on our final two pairings. You could get a weird pairing in the last round. Someone draw. At least draw a brony. Thanks everybody for playing. Thanks to Princess Chess for donating gift subs. We had a resub from John Mac TV. Guys, don't forget to donate and support the stream. Appreciate it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Enough players to get all nine rounds. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need that many. I feel better than I did during round five. I'm afraid El Shakmat might play the London system. Thank you for not playing the London system. <laughs> People scare me when they play Knight F3. Ugh, this is solid. He did, he did play the London system with G3. That's a weird setup. Fianchetto London system. Brony withdrew. He wants to give me first place. I guess he had to go. But it's still not over. Alright, threatening e4. Yeah, this looks like I would call this a real system of some sort. Hmm. I guess I should take on d4, play knight, knight c6 or something, it doesn't look right. There is something weird about white's position, the bishop on f4 having no retreat squares. It's like knight d5.
Something about this move, though, is also artificial. Yeah, that's my, my stream joke. We all joke about the brony. That's why we have a we have a pony. It's just the meme. I don't really like ponies. White is very solid. It's it's basically the London system. Call it what you want. I just hope I don't have COVID. Earlier today I had like sniffles and out of the blue, like for no reason. Now I feel like really tired. I've been vaccinated, but you can still get it. I'm probably just have allergies and I'm just like really tired. But I'm paranoid. London system with G3. <sighs> um, so do I play E6? Weekend my squares? It looks like rookie 8. Man, white is very solid. Yeah, a lot of people are getting COVID even who are vaccinated, but they have very mild cases. But I don't understand why I'm suddenly getting the sniffles in the middle of the summer, in the middle of the day, for no reason. But now it seems to have gone away and I'm just like tired. Anything's possible. Rookie 8, Knight F7. This guy is scary. What a principled game by white. Very focused on the center. This exchange is okay. You know, giving up his bad bishop. It's a pretty mature decision, actually. Rubenstein. Rubenstein was... I'm trying to think now. Yeah, Rubenstein was, was born in Poland. Getting him confused with someone else now. There's another famous player who was on my mind that I can't remember who it was now. Wait, it's just holding. I'm basically playing the black side of the ready. Ready Ricard. Who's actually from what is today? Czechia. But a lot of people don't know the ready the ready name is of course. Hungarian. Alright, now White's starting to make some weaknesses. This, the pawn smile. Smiley pawns. That looks kind of sketchy. What am I doing now? Am I going to go back to the A file? What if he takes on C5? Dude. I can't believe he has a Fianchetto Knight on B2.
This is just too weird. Weight's probably fine here. Unbelievable. 9p2. <clears throat> Be careful. Yeah, I'm asking for trouble with this move. But I guess I have queen b6. I don't have to play queen b7. Queen b7 is tempting. We can play queen b6. He's gonna sack the exchange, I take. He doesn't have a clear tactic. Knight takes. You know what? That's a very strong bishop on the long diagonal. It would be weird to not trade it. But I mean, you gotta consider it. Keeping the game complicated. I mean, I don't know. I have e5. If there's nothing on diagonal, is it really a bishop? If a tree falls in the forest and it doesn't make a sound, is it really a tree? Look at this f5 move. Okay, now he lost his mind. What a move. I don't believe it. That is my pawn. He's getting too, too overconfident with the f5. I will never give you that pawn back. You're gonna have to like pry it out of my hands. The mighty bishop that went to h3. That's a good sign. Yeah, fork, fork them. And he's back. But he's back, he's in a different reality now. The world has changed since the last time the bishop was, was on, on g2. The world hath changed. Structure hath changed. Hell hath no fury like an extra knight. I thought he was gonna play rook d1 there. That was more scary. Now we, we stole the initiative. Crafty. Oh no. Alright. That was just practical chess. We got lucky he played f5. Stop Vargan against Mule Skinner? No, it's Stop Vargan against Nakriba. Nakriba's made it. Dude, that was not a good square. But anyway, he was lost. Alright. Back to tournament last round. The last round. One game ongoing. Oh, Goo. Goo against Mule Skinner. That's what I meant. Oh. Sorry, I just banged my glass down. C takes d6. Wait, what? What is going on? 
Oh, Mule Skinner's calculating like C6. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. This is a win. Mule Skinner is pretty fundamentally knowledgeable. He plays tournament chess. He knows his, his fundamental end games. I think he's going to win that. Roni stepped out. So I'm now in first place. One round to go. So a lot of people have left us. Abel Fazel left. Hey, Smiro left. You guys need to stick with it a little bit more. Thank you for, for continuing. Nak Riba played all through the tournament. Astrobate, El Shakmat, play like Kasparov, Neil Skinner, Stap Vargan. We all stayed in for every round. Guys, don't su support the stream. Don't forget to support the stream. <laughs> don't support the stream. Don't forget to su support the stream. And, and, and I'm sorry. Check out my YouTube channel. Video chess training on YouTube. You can use the YouTube command. All right. Two minutes to go. Don't support the stream. I'd probably get more donations if I, if I told people to not support the stream. We lost to Sap Bargain round four. Draw with Brony. Brony left. Mule Skinner is tied for a second, but I've already played Mule Skinner. I've already played Stat Bargain, already played Play Like Sparrow, already played Goo, already played Shockmot. Astrobate, it's time. Those who complete all nine rounds, it's like mini golf. You get a free, free game next round. Mr. Coffee's with us. Thanks for modding, man. So back tomorrow morning. If I'm not sick, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., CEST, Blitz Challenges, Weird Openings. Next week I'm going away again on Tuesday. But we are here until next Tuesday, and then I'm going to Romania for a week. I'm going to raid another country. Transylvania. I'm going to visit Dracula. The old American joke. All right. Last round. The last round is here. It's nine o'clock. It's a long tournament. I mean, this this is almost. It's about two and a half hours. Solid tournament. No Dracula jokes. It's 3 a.m. there. Wow. Thanks for playing. So I didn't get Astrobate. I don't remember what Knock Rib Ribbo plays. I'm going to stick to my guns in this key last round. The F4 McDonald attack. I was discussing this with someone else. G6 is also a good move for black. There's an interesting move there, D4. If G6, by the way. The toilet variation, patented by Mark Hebden. He claims he thought of it while he was on the toilet. This is, this is known. No, I don't. I'm not. My preparation for the toilet variation is not, not very expansive. It's probably as good as anything. I mean, I'm trying to remember what Black's supposed to play here. E six. It reminds me of the reversed. Mule Skinner, Buddha, Buddha, booty. Where's Morales? Knight B4 is a move. Doesn't seem like it does anything. Though it's like a Knight H3 Budapest, um, reversed. 
It's fine for black. This pawn, you know, it's kind of weird. I can't remember the last time I faced the toilet. It doesn't sound good. Now he's playing bishop c4. He wasted a tempo. I guess knight f5. Whenever I play with Morales in the Budapest, I try to delay castling. Skewerly. Streamer. We haven't seen you in a long time. Welcome back. So, <clears throat> I mean, castling is absolutely a normal move, but but I want to put my bishop on a good diagonal. Timing about this, I'm not sure of. White has already moved their bishop twice. I mean, they can move it again. <laughs> Three bishop moves. Securely welcome to the last round of our tournament. I'm either just really tired or I'm developing some kind of diabetic coma. In the middle of the tournament, I just totally ran out of energy or felt very sleepy. I'm a little better now. Let's see. When White's playing well, I mean, they're 1663. This is a little weak, but it's basically like a standard Budapest reversed, I would, I would get. I decided not to castle. Move 11 made it. We mentioned you earlier. Our analysis in something. Oh, I repeated your game, your training game in the with Hey It's Mira, I repeated your training game move 11 with that FM in the in the Rosalimo, that the Queen D7 draw game. And I concurred that it sort of sucks for black, but it's it's uh it's maybe good enough for a draw, but I don't think I want to play that anymore. Keep going, go. When our, our, one of our VIPs, Morales, actually Morales has been missing lately. When he plays the white side of the booty, he, um, he doesn't like to castle into this sort of attack like white has here in this case. It's interesting. What about knight d4? What about him? Ah, oh, this is unfortunate. The double threat. So move 11, I learned from your games. I couldn't do it again. You know, the the last time we did Hey, It's Miro, he played the D5. I tried the D, your D5 move. He re reacted pretty well to that. I should say. This is the, the, the model square for the black king. The safest position for my king is on f8. He guards against mate, but he's not going to save his exchange. I have take, take 94, another, another brother, my other knight on d4. It's just a pity to give up my bishop. I mean, it was tempting to play like bishop f3, knight takes c2. That's probably what the computer would do. Because I win a whole rook, at least temporarily. 
I think I shouldn't have exchanged on D4. Yeah, I know. And the sad part is I know that already, and I still did it. I think you influenced me, you know? I'm like de-learning. I'm devolving from watching your, your games. No, I knew that already. And I, I think I, I overlooked like telling you about that. Of course, it wouldn't have saved you. But, um, saved you from yourself. It's a natural thing to do. What happened? GF3. The natural move seems like CD in the Ross Limo, but yeah, that. So we've got. I played D5 before, the normal move. Knock ribeye. So what do I do? Knight takes f3. I mean, yeah, he sacks the exchange, but he's he's made it. Oh, I didn't realize he was made it. I have queen d4. Okay, he has to trade queens. Or there's this move. Oh, this is a funny position. Knight d2 check. It's beautiful. Interference theme. Interfering with the bishop's defense of g5. He does have mate though. He's threatening mate in one. So there's no time for mistakes here. All right. Infinite flash chess is here. Whoa. It doesn't even say hi to me, only to acerbate. This hurts my feelings. What's up, Infinite Flash? We win the tournament. Noel Skinner can finish second. We'll see about tie breaks. It's a Karo Khan. Wonder what this was. You guys want to bet? I like to guess the opening. Still a game. Pooh, baby. Time to bail out. Neil Skinner has a wicked attack here. Black's going to have to run for the hills. Run for the hills. In that Ross Limo line, I saw some games where White plays knight h4. And allows knight f5. I don't know about that. Rook lifts incoming. No, I mean, black has to run for it. But it's not going to be fun. Oh, the knight's just hanging out there. So he actually can't run for it. Never mind. So El Shakmat, I guess, found a good move. Queen d5. But he's, he's lost. Black is dust. And that's, that's a good strong, strong move. Great tournament by Mule Skinner today. He's improving. He's up to 2200 rapid, 2171 classical. The less he comes to stream, the stronger he gets. It looks like. This is not, not healthy. So, good tournament, guys. And and ladies. Still a game between Play Like Sparrow and Goo, but the top three are sorted out. Brony dropped out. He could have won the event. So I, I really don't deserve to win it. Brony deserved to win it. I lost one game against Tap Fargan. Play like Kasparov last game of the day. Opposite color bishops and rooks. Goo. Goo is. Wow, sharp position. Now white has the upper hand. 
with the outside ponds, lobster and, and crab. It's never too late to get mated. That's what I say. Plot slumper. Wait, is that is that plots versus lumper? Move eleven. Or lot plots plots lumper one name all one name. <laughs> Plot slumper. Help me. Can I get a help me? Whoa. Yeah, you've got to be very, very careful around here it's a good thing his bishop is defended on c7 not creepy you got to play with some good players thank you for the game Good, good term for Mule Skinner, though. Thought you played very impressively. WJ Loof, good to see you. One of these days you can make it and play. 100 bit pride donation from WJ. Starting off the week. Very generously. We had 100 bits from WJ. Thank you, man. Move 11 just gifted a tier, tier 1 sub to Gun Fired. To the community, for the community. You're one point from PB and Blitz. Peanut butter and jelly. Personal best. Oh no. When I wasn't paying attention, weight dropped a piece. This is a tournament, it's over. This is the last game. It's not really an important game. I'm just rounding out the, the coverage here. But something crazy just happened. Play like Kasparov got sloppy. Now it's a draw. It's late for Play like Kasparov. I mean, I guess Black could win, theoretically, but he's going to have to sack his rook for the pawn. And that wasn't necessary. Made in 15. I'm not sure who's trying to lose here. Maybe, maybe white is trying to lose. He's getting close now. With the bad king position. White might actually be losing. Is it possible? Everything's possible. Now this king and the and the bishop and the two pawns. I'm not sure. Can white draw? You have to queen. If his king is on f4, it's easy. But now... I'm not even sure if there's a way to save it. <sighs> Sad. Poor goo. That's just mean. It's over. Cover your eyes. 
in the tournament in his hand. Okay, so Brony left with two rounds to go. He was really like deserving of winning this. So I went on first with seven and a half. Yule Skinner had a great performance. Um, 2301, excellent job. Stop Vargan, 2270, I was 2342. I didn't feel well earlier. I'm feeling better now. Um, got really tired in the middle of the tournament. I don't know what was going on with me, like food coma. WJ Luth, I really came in at the end. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> the last game. Um, but Brony was like six out of seven with two rounds and he dropped out. He deserves to, to win this thing. Um, play like Kasparov. Brony's fourth, play like Kaspar of fifth, Goo, El Shakmat, Astrobate, and Abu Fazl, Hey It's Miro in tenth. Thanks to all of you who stayed through the whole tournament. It's two and a half hours. So it's it's quite a long tournament. I appreciate it. Supporting the stream. Thanks to WJ Loof, Move Eleven, and Princess Chess for your donations. I'm gonna be back tomorrow morning. If I get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at 11 a.m., we're going to be playing Blitz with weird openings. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.